Heat from the Fifth Element soundtrack. Great song. Um, so Emotiva, like the amp subwoofer speaker processor DAC company, was like, hey, we're making a headphone. And I'm like, oh, God, why has everyone got to do this? And I was mildly worried because I like Emotiva and I hate shitting on things that, you know, companies I like make because they're like, we're going to branch out and it's, it's terrible. And my relief came in the form of this white box. I'm like, that is a really nice, like, I like the packaging of this, but that's not where the relief was. The relief came when I saw that ass. People in the know have seen that butt before. This is the case, by the way. Very nice. It's, 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 it's nice because I've seen it before. And I, I can't box. Uh. Oh, it's a little bit lined. Actually, this is really, it might have a different interior lining, but you know this butt. You know this butt. That's why the Civica Phoenix are on the desks. So whoever they contracted out to make the Emotiva headphone, because they're not making it in-house. They're just, it's coming from China from somewhere. Um, I know that company. Uh, Civic Phoenix, Sandy Ivas, uh, the Blonde BL20s or B20s. There's a lot of headphones they make that aren't bad. So when I fucking took them out and looked at them, I went, oh. Oh, they got the premium one. Because I'm sure there's different levels of, of get that you can get. And just... They're really pretty. We're gonna start with the pretty. Can we start with the pretty? We're starting with the pretty. Uh, micro mesh, like laser cut holes in an in a interesting pattern. The Emotiva logo, which is embossed in white with the honeycomb. And you look at this and you go, look at this metal. Wait, oh, this is metal. This is wood. This is These are wood headphones. It's hard to tell. They're so dark. And they trimmed the back of this with a piece of black metal. And then they have this extremely dark wood. And you could just barely, like, when I, if I, if I took, twist the pad off. I think it goes this way. Maybe it goes this way. Oh, God. This is one of the, oh, there you go. There. You could see the wood edges and finish there. And there's your driver, which we'll have to talk about because it's a graphene driver. A graphene lattice reference headphone is what this is. And I'm just, I'm just going to take this one off, all right? Just sh shut up. I'm not here to compare the two directly, but they both come off in the same way. And they're both really, 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 really similar. Really similar. However, if that is truly a graphene driver, which is a big deal because graphene is like a... It's, you have to make it with like carbon, and it's like graphene is a, is a thing. Um, these, the Civica Phoenix, do not claim to have a graphene. They claim to have a polycarbonate driver, even though they look fucking identical. But they don't sound identical, so we're going to start off with that. Stop it! Stop. They don't sound identical. I just wanted to show you that um, they're the same manufacturer, which is a good thing. That's like finding out your fucking Hyundai accent is made by Mercedes. It's like, oh, oh, that, that's fine. I, I'm not worried about that at all. Uh, so the pads are replaceable. There is currently, I mean, I guess if you can find extra pads for the Phoenix now, it gives you an option because you could swap the pads on this. I'm going to put this back on. And it's just a little, it's a turn. It's like the slightest turn, but then it's like, it's like, oh, uh, you have to like really, ah. Uh. So the build is, well, it's spectacular black metal here very very dark wood cups that you can barely tell the pads similar in their unique shapiness like those have uh, a little bit thicker certainly thicker in the front and then it has they mm, i love it i love this shape i love like the the, the it tapers back at the top of the head and then it gets a little bit thicker under and behind the ear the i love it um the metal here this is just like it feels fake in a way that it's like if you could, if you could export like a 3D model into real life, you'd be like this isn't real metal. You can't make metal this smooth. It's beautiful. This nice. This headband. Look at the chunk of that. That is. This is how like, what can I even compare against? Like how thick that is. Excuse me, phone. Ah! Osmo action camera just took a dive. There's the Zeus. Like the top headband is this thick. Zeus, by the way, still great. Um, the, so it's got big 
big perforated padding here. The pads themselves are perforated on the fascia. Only the fascia, which doesn't actually really affect the sound because there's no way for sound to travel into the pad or out of it through those holes because it's solid on the inside. So it's there probably just to wick away sweat, which you don't want the sweat to go into the pad either. So whatever, they're comfortable. Uh, the clamp is nice and linear, a little bit, you know, it's a little tight. I think I stretched it out. I may have given it one of these, but just the slightest because these aren't these in weight. These are like, ooh, I could throw these up in the air. And these have like a, like a girth to them. And that's got to do with the metal on the back is solid. The more metal around the outside, the metal, the metal, metal. These are metal. And the headband is also a bit heavy. Because it's, I believe it's just a chunk of rubber. Like, yeah, if I squeeze it, like it all it bends and everything. Don't do this to your pair, but I can do it to mine. Because this is my gerb. So this is like a big fucking piece of bumper car rubber up top. Which is why the clamp is like that. So you put them on and you know you're wearing them. They're not a lightweight pair of headphones. They feel good. Um, the only thing they're lacking is the ability to, to angle like this system has that, which tilts in and out, which by the way, this is a brand new pair of Civica Phoenix as I sent me two. Here's the one I've broken in and stretched and everything. And this is a new one and it's, you know, it's got the full fuck clamp. So it's bit sort of reminding me of why I did the things I did to my set because that is not as comfortable as that. But this is more comfortable than that. You follow me? So if you get brand new Civica Phoenix and you're like, oh, these are not that comfortable, you gotta do the thing where you manipulate them. These, however, you can't take the old little clamp away because they weigh a lot. They feet, they they have like this, they have a planar-like weight to them and they're not planar. So, oh, they also, you know, they're using the exact same, I knew this also, the two and a half millimeter is a little green and red. So you can easily buy wires for it. However, I'm still using the wire it came with because the wire it came with is awesome. It, it's just a fabric cable and it's just a three and a half millimeter, but I just love everything about the way they put these together. Whatever company, the magic butt, I'm going to call this the butt company now. They're the company that makes all the headphones with the butt cases. If they change cases, they disappear into the ether. I'd never find them. But the, 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 knurled, um, the knurled black aluminum with the spring strain relief and then you, you unroll it and it's it's pin straight it's pin straight from factory I, I just thank you that's all i care about sometimes is that the wire doesn't suck sure i bought the sure um 1540s again because they suck and i want to fix them uh so the wire is actually like i like it it's a little bit long if you're gonna go portable portable well i did a thing i have to undo a thing with gravity I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. Uh, the only, you know what else I like about these? They're so fucking understated. You get the Emotiva logo. You get nothing, nothing, not an L or R indicator. If you do this, you have no words anywhere on this. The only thing you have is the L and R in the cup, which I keep forgetting it's there. I'm like, oh, oh, there it is. You also have L and R on the wire. If, you, if they really wanted to be assholes, they would not have it in there either. And it would just be this little, a white letter on the on the wire then you'd be screwed so let's put them on and they sit they sit on your head and you're like mm, i'm wearing some expensive headphones and these are not that expensive i didn't tell you the price they're 300 bucks which again when i first heard that they were going to make a headphone and i found the price it was going to be like uh they better not suck for 300 dollars and but it's better than if they made like a 120 dollars set of bluetooth headphones too many companies go that route fio Fio, actually Fio's headphone was like more expensive and not very good. Don't take a small step. I'm going to yell at some companies now. Um, not Emotiva. They did a great job. They went to the right manufacturer and they started out with a basic headphone. Most companies are like, we don't need to make a headphone. What's popular these days? The Bluetooth will go with wireless and with motion track. No, fuck. Make a headphone. Just make a, just make a headphone. Give it a wire. Look how nice that wire sits. Holy fuck. Make a, make a headphone that plugs in the end. If you can accomplish that and people like it, then you can go and try newer, better, more expensive, fancier things. But you got to get that solid foundation of you can make a fucking headphone. So these sit on your head, and I have them plugged in to the Liquid Gold X. 
I brought out the Rebel Lamp uh, to try it on that. I got to try these on that. There's a whole things, a lot of things I need to do. Um, but people have been demanding the Rebel Lamp come back to the desk. And it's been sitting in the back there. I also have the Flux FA12 here, which I'm probably going to rotate out. I'm going to move my desk. My desk is moving. I don't want it to be here anymore. I have the whole backdrop of cement versus the backdrop of like all the speakers and headphones I own will be in the corner. So we're moving there. But I have it on the Liquid Gold X. I had it on the Rebel Amp. And then I moved the Phoenix to the Rebel Amp. And now I have these on this. And I'm not using them balanced. I'm using them with the stock cable. And it's still an experience. How do I describe... I don't want to describe these comparatively to the Phoenix because I don't need to. But if you're using that as a base of reference, these have more in what you would call a detail. They sort of shift. Like the Phoenix are, if I have to recommend them, because those are $255 and these are $300. So they're almost the same price, roughly. We're going to just say roughly they're the same price. You would buy the phoenix for more of a laid back sound that is sort of like just chilling out and these emotivas are trying to actually impress you they keep the highs they keep the mid-range they have slightly less sound stage and that just has to do with the fact that the back is way more closed than it is on the um like the phoenix or any other open back they are an open back it's just like you know, if you poured water through the Phoenix, you would it would just come out. You pour water into this, it's going to get just, just... You could use it as a coffee strainer, honestly. So you can make coffee with these. If, you, if the if apocalypse comes, find a set of these, strip out the driver, pop it in your little thing, pour some irradiated water through whatever the fuck you think is coffee grinds, because there's probably no coffee, and then you could have coffee. Um, at first, I was worried they were a little bit sibilant. Like, it almost got to sibilant. It, Almost got there. And then I broke them in. I just put them on the thing and I played them for 25, 30 hours. Which is, eh, 20 hours is like the minimum, I would say. If you if you have a an issue that you're trying to resolve by just playing pink noise or music, 20 hours is the minimum. I've seen some people or even myself recommend like 100 hours. Or just, just play it. But here's the thing. If you get a headphone out of the box and you love it, then you don't need to do break in or burn in. Just wear the fucking headphone and enjoy it. Stop being a bitch. It's people who get it and go like, I love this headphone, but I want to love it even more. But I want to do it for the next five days without using it. It's like, eh. If you love something, just just use it. That does not include women. Don't. That's, that's just not what I said. But if you love a headphone, just use the headphone. Just, just use the headphone. Just fuck it. it it'll, it'll, if it changes over the next five, six, ten days you're using it, you probably won't notice because the change will be so slight. But you might come back to a song you played day one. They were like, eh, that's a little bit of like, eh. And on day 10, you're like, huh. That could also have to do with, you know, your diet. Are you dehydrated? Has the humidity changed? What's the relative temperature of your, of your environment? Are your ears clogged? Have you cleaned the wax out? There's so many things that could change from day one to day 10. You can't even say for sure it's breaking of a headphone. That's one of the things you come to realize when you do this shit for a living is that yeah, no, it sounds different today than yesterday, but my nose is stuffy, and my nose is stuffy, if you don't hear me talking a little weird. So this sounds different than it did yesterday or the day before, not because of breaking and burning, because my body is physically decaying uh, towards death. We're all going towards death. Unless you figured out a way to not do that, please say so in the comments. I'd like to know. Weren't we talking about headphones? Michael Jackson, slave to the rhythm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, these headphones make me want to dance. They're 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 more focused and impactful than the other headphones in this three hundred dollar range. In fact, let me remind you all that this site exists. Welcome to Hi-Fi Guides, everyone. A website set up by myself and DMS to help you guide towards your Hi-Fi experience. So, uh, and I forget what I've reviewed because I've reviewed like 200 something headphones now. So I'm going to click headphones. There's also in-ear speakers, subwoofers, and headphone sources. But we're going to click headphones and we're going to set the slider, the price slider down to, these are 300. Let's do like 340 and a minimum of like 200. And does it need an amp skip? Um, type open back or close back. I'm going to say open back to sort of lessen it. And then it's asking me the sound category, neutral, mid I ignore that. So let's see what's in this price range. Because these aren't on there yet. The Civica Phoenix 260. 
Um, the Nighthawks are wonky as hell, but I love them. M1060, we might have to go back and start exploring if the old uh, monoprice stuff is even worth it anymore. There's a lot of new boys. K712s at, tw at 312. K712s probably do low end better than these. HE400s. HE400Is, I haven't heard in years. I just know that I liked them when I heard them. So they're on here because I think DMS verified it. DMS with the 650s, me with the HE600s, because HE600s are like 300 bucks. Where are my HE600s? I think they're upstairs still in the uh, the gallery. But those are way neutral. And then the 81,000X. So really, nothing here, nothing that's in this current list, and there's things that are out of the price range, that's what's below there, but nothing that I'm looking at in open back headphones, that, and this probably isn't fully updated, hits as hard as this headphone does. Nothing does it. These are laid back. They're just chill. They're chill headphones. And these make me go, ah, oh, to Michael Jackson's Slave to the Rhythm. But in a good way. It's like, I don't want to scare people off to think like, oh, he says it's, he says it's an aggressive, hitty headphone. It's, it's a, uh, it's going to do, uh, to your brain and you're going to love it. Because I mean, you don't have, you could just lower the volume and it's like, oh, that's. That's fine, but you're not gonna. And then you're gonna be like, I wanna just just gonna put it up. I wanna keep putting it up. These shit slap. These fucking slap. And you can listen to any type of genre genre on them. Like I've this is currently The Simpsons. What the fuck's name is song? Yahoo's main title. They're very, very impressive with just how they push sound at you in an enjoyable way. And I think that's got a slightly do with graphene, although they look really similar to that, but that's just polycarbonate. And if it was graphene, they would fucking scream it. So as long as Emotiva is getting actual graphene drivers and not being lied to by the manufacturer, but it doesn't really fucking matter because they sound so good, it doesn't matter. They've been made out of, God, out of like cat skin. We just skin 600 cats a day to make these headphones for you. That'd be fucked up. And I wouldn't doubt it trying to do that. But they still sound good. Mogwai, acid food. They're like the guitar, like guitar riff, which is currently, it says left channel. It's a little bit left channel bias, but it's not in my headphone. It's not out where the actual cup is. It's in like two inches into my head, not in the middle. Just in. So I'm still saying this is a left channel guitar, but it's inside of me. That's a rare. Uh, that's that's imaging doing imaging things. Then that low end knock comes, and the the low end is the low end is tighter than the Phoenix. Because I'm not I'm not here. I hate I, I did an entire video years ago because I just hit it in the review. Whereas what headphone is better? I did a whole video where I just said what headphone is better. And there wasn't actually any headphone that was better. It was just me yelling at people asking what headphone is better. <laughs> I'm human and my nose runs. It's shock. Because better is fucking stupid. You can say what headphone is better for a very narrow, specific thing. What headphone is better in stock comfort? Stock comfort, these are better than the Phoenix. But if you bend the Phoenix and get them to loosen up and then curve the ends in, then those are better in comfort than these. So the better has already shifted with just like moving things. So saying an overall headphone, unless you have... The only way to say a one specific headphone is better than another and isn't just different is if you have a specifically, this is a monitoring headphone for travel. And then this is a monitoring headphone for travel. Those are, they have to have the exact same purpose in life. And then you can compare 72 points of each headphone and then weigh the, the, the grand scheme of it and go, okay, this one is better by 8%. So if I'm talking about the Phoenix on my desk and I'm talking about the GR1s, and you ask me, but see us, which headphone is better in what fucking category? Because I'd have to compare no shit, like 25 points of sound alone. Sub bass versus 
base versus forward mid range versus like the the absolute like the treble it's right right at the peak of what humans can hear versus sound stage versus instrument placement in the imaging like dude, this is why I can't say what's better for you this is why I have fucking 70 headphones or some shit because there are headphones that do lots of things better than other headphones. Maybe there's 10 points where it's just insanely better than these, these things. But there's a reason that that, that that lesser headphone is still around because it does other things better. Whether it looks, even looks can go into a bug. Which one looks better? Uh, I don't know. We have a very different take on, on a headphone here. We've got the wood, the very, very prominent wood. We've got the thin wired top with the leather strap. Or you've got like this big chunky soft pad with the, with the metal that's like glistening, glisteningly smooth metal on this like dark zimbra. I don't know what the hell the, um, the wood is on this, but because they don't really announce it. But these headphones absolutely can sit next to Sivga Phoenix on your desk and you could be like, I did not buy the same headphone. I bought two separate headphones that do two completely different sound signatures and look different and feel different. I'm literally, I should have never brought up the fact that it's the same company that makes those because then I wouldn't have to make these comparisons and yell at people. I, I do have to do this. I will say I have to do, I have to grab it in a way that I can twist it forward. Right, hold on twist it forward so I can get this back kicked more towards my ear because it doesn't have enough of this it needs I don't want to twist it by this you want to twist it by this ah comfort manipulate your headphones till they're comfortable I'm trying to find a good um actually let's just go to letter Mob Psycho has a song called Letter. I guess we'll go to Yo C Letter. Well, that's beer. My my imaging test, and I've linked him before in the past. And I talk about him and I use him in my sound demos. Is Yosi Horikawa, who's a Japanese guy who just makes music out of synths and real life sound recordings of real life. And in Letter, the song Letter, he has set up, I don't even know what kind of microphones on a table, like this close to a piece of paper. And someone with, a, I think, a pencil, it sounds like a pencil, is just writing probably, I'm imagining if he's Japanese, maybe that's why it's got so many dots. But he's recording someone just writing, actually, it would also be in Japanese, they write backwards. No. They reread, they read backwards, but I don't think they write backwards. And they write to the right and then read from the left. Because we're hearing it just It's just moving across the inside of my head. So what these lack in slight like out there soundstage, they make up for in just fucking imaging. Just imaging. These are not a displeasurable set of headphones to listen to most things on. You could call them the poor man's LCD4. I won't, but you could. Spinning complacently in the darkness. Power Man 5000. Just, just accept Power Man 5000. I love that album, by the way. Tonight the Stars Revolt. It had like a theme for the whole thing. I miss albums that have like a theme. Like it was like, all right, Power Man 5000. We got some robots. We got like this intro. We're gonna talk about like Son of X. We're gonna do. We're gonna do it. And it's so good. It's, I just, I miss. I don't know. I don't. I don't usually listen to albums straight through anymore. I just sort of like shuffle around. My life has become a shuffling around of music. I'm going to lower this again. Oh, and um, I should probably mention that they're pretty easy to drive. I have the Emotiva here, which I'm using as my DAC. 16 decibels down out of the XLR and RCA outputs. Just 16 decibels. Just cut it the fuck off. Because 
those are so easy to drive. So I can run medium gain and like 11 o'clock for the Phoenix. And I'm actually, I have this on high gain, but I could probably take that off. Yeah, I could run this at like one o'clock. Just so I have volume control. Otherwise it's like, ah, ah, that's, that's a negative or a positive, however you want to look at it, that these fall into the same like easy to drive category as a Civic Phoenix, like real easy to drive. Like, oh my God, a phone is fine. Although who has, you know, three and a half millimeter on their phone anymore. I was, I will say, I will say, I was sitting here and doing comparisons before I started. And I went Phoenix, these, these Phoenix, these, these, to make sure that everything was different enough that I didn't have to say, oh, it's a clone. And there were some songs where there's like that static hiss in the background or compression noises, and you hear them on the GR1s way more than you hear them on the Phoenix. Because the Phoenix are a laid back set of headphones. They sort of fix your music. They're like, hold on, you got some shit? You got some Bobby McFerrin from the 70s ripped off of vinyl, converted to cassette tape, and then put into MP3, and then up-converted to flack? Yeah, it'll sound fine to me. I'm fine. V Phoenix will take that shit. These... Less forgiving for crappy music. And I just I just started Gorilla's Pirate Jet. And there's like a very, very distinctive in the back of this track as it fades up. And I'm, I notice it. It's like, oh, oh, these headphones are telling me everything that's going on. So basically, I love these headphones. They, they fit a niche in the $300 open back range that doesn't exist. Pirate Jet, Pirate Jet. Pirate They're so tight. If I had to describe, like, in one word, what these sound like, tight. They sound tight. They don't fit that tight, but the sound is just like, mmm. There's a solidity to it, and it has to probably do with my mental incap incapacities and how it's like, well, it's a heavy headphone, so it's feeling on you, and you got this, like, narrow sound so it's mmm, and it's got that, like, really powerful hit. These are a tight-sounding headphone, and these are a loose-sounding headphone. Let's put those back on for the pirate jet. We'll go back to the beginning of pirate jet. Oh my god, did they put the name? Oh, by the way, this is scable. This is not the cable it came with. You know, it's like there's a the wave sound at the beginning of pirate jet. It's like this. Like, shh. I'm not noticing it. Whatever the, the frequency response was, that like that was pointing out, like, hey, listen to this compression, even though it's flat. Listen to it, us, what we're doing in the mixing studio. And this is just like more. Yeah, these are way more chill. These are a chiller sound. I'm going to try not to crush the pads. Because when the pads have like the lumps, you do that. You see it's crushing it. So I'm going to do that. So it preserves, preserve the pad for another couple of weeks. Um, these are great. These absolutely exceeded my expectations when any company who is not a headphone maker, and I've yelled at other companies who have, don't make headphones for making headphones because you shouldn't fucking do that. But the company that makes these headphones is obviously a company that makes headphones because that's all they do is make headphones for other people. And if you want to put your logo on it, like if Zio's had to make a headphone, I'd go to ZMF, I guess, and be like, yo, yo, Zach, I want you to make the Z-Dog. That's what it's going to be called. And I want you to make it out of like some rare wood that you have to like kill people, like blood diamond. I want blood diamond wood so that no one can ever have any. And like I can have him design me a headphone. That would be a little bit uneconomical because it'd be like $15,000. But I mean, I would personally sign every pair. But they made a good choice. They went with a good manufacturer that makes a good headphone. They put their logo on a very pretty looking headphone. I'm sure they had options that they were going through for like weeks. They picked a very unique look. Like, this doesn't look like any other headphone I've reviewed. You're not going to confuse it with an AKG or, or you know, another Sennheiser. It's very, very specific looking. And it's, uh, it, it stands up to the test of, like, value for dollar, $300, worth. Worth for the accessories, work for the feel. It's perfect. Perfect, head, perfect first headphone for a company to come out with. And now that my heater's on, I'm going to end this review. That wallpaper which I've had for a while at the bottom of the list, but I figured that the, the black and white, for the black and white would go, that's available to download in the description. If you'd like to find the original artist, use uh, IQDB or Sauce Now, and you could reverse search. Um, I'm gonna link to the Emotiva. Obviously, I'll link to the Phoenix because it's a completely different headphone as far as delivery. 
So you could own both. I'm not saying you can own, you, this, is, this is competition to that because it's in the same price range and they're both open back and they're both by the same manufacturer. But at least someone over there knows how to make things sound different. Congratulations, some companies just can't get it fucking right. Um, check out my Patreon or Subscribestar. Both have the same benefits. $5 a month lets you see reviews early, participate in yard sales, and ask me questions on platform. Or for $10 a month, you get into the secret. Well, it's not a secret because I'm telling you about it. Behind the scenes, private, private, um, Telegram chat, which gets refreshed every three months so that if you're not a paying subscriber, you get the fuck out of there. But there is a swap meet channel now that is available. So you can trade gear with friends and family and, well, other patrons that you do not get kicked out of. So if you join the $10 tier, you get into the swap meet, you get to see that there's probably like 90 things in there that other people are selling. And when you sell that thing, you just delete your posts and then if you want to sell another thing. So you get to stay in there and sort of like remain a little bit of the community, but that's not a conversation piece. The $10 chat's where it's at. Um, so yeah, that works for you. The subscribers to our Patreon. I, I just showed you the Hi-Fi Guide site. We used it. I use it. My brain cannot possibly store every 184 to 339 dollar headphone that's open back without an amp that that i can't my brain however there is a forum is attached to it as well that if you'd like to check out you better have my right up now adding hardware explanations new Shelley article to revive basically um we have excellent people working the site we've just spent a fuck ton on aws to get it to run smooth uh everything i review a uh, person who's a mod checks out the Patreon. So as soon as it pops up on Patreon, oh, GR1s, make sure there's an official post for it. So you can have official forms for every single thing I've reviewed. If you think something is missing that I haven't reviewed that's been out for like six months, like, oh, you should probably add this, you can message the mods or pop it out on any of the things and be like, hey, why don't you have a thread for this? And there will be an official thread put for that. Because you could start your own thread and that's fine. But we may eventually just take your thread and make it an official thread. So check out the forums. Links to these, links to the amps, links to the wallpaper, links to the sound demo, which I did yesterday, and it was it came out pretty good. It came out pretty good. Not sound demos are weird. Sometimes they don't come out at all, but this one came out pretty good. All right, I'm done. I'm gonna drink my um, Snapple straight up tea with a sorta of sweet. I like the sorta of sweet, but I don't know. It's, it doesn't taste like sweet enough now. Maybe I'm developing a sweet tooth. It's COVID's fault. We're done? Good. I'll see you tomorrow for sound demo and then another day after that for another review. I want to thank you to Emotiva.